During this pandemic, many of us are feeling extra stressed and extra anxious. Something called emotional intelligence can help us regulate our emotions and regulate our feelings. We're joined now by an emotional intelligence specialist, Brittany Nicole Connor Savarda. She's the founder of Catalyst for Change. And Brittany Nicole, good morning. Thanks for talking with us. Good morning, Colleen. Thank you. Okay, pleasure to be here. Of course, let's start with this. What is emotional intelligence? How do you define it? Yeah, so emotional intelligence is the ability to understand and manage our emotions in a positive and constructive way, to accurately perceive how we are viewed by others, to communicate effectively, to empathize with others, and overcome challenges and diffuse conflict. And this is broken down into four primary components, and that's self-awareness, self-regulation or self-management, social awareness, and empathy. Mm -hmm. You mentioned self-awareness, and it's interesting because I think most people think they're pretty self-aware, but that's not always the case, right? It is not. 95% of people believe that they are self-aware, but studies show that only 90, or I'm sorry, 90% of us are not self-aware. So that leaves 10% of the population. Oh my gosh. Okay. So how does this emotional intelligence affect our overall well-being? Why should we care? Why is this important? Yeah, so emotional intelligence has a plethora of benefits, ranging from reducing stress and anxiety, improving communication, stronger relationships, developing stronger leaders and more effective teams. It affects our physical health, and it can aid in financial success. But let's just talk about stress and anxiety. So today it seems that we are bombarded by emotional triggers, which activate our sympathetic nervous system, or some like to think of the fight or flight response. And when we are in this state of emotional arousal and distress, Mm -hmm. all we are thinking about is survival and our rational brain checks out. It's like, I'm done. Mm -hmm. (laughs) If you've ever been uh, in front of an audience, public speaking, and you lose your train of thought or what you're going to say, even though you know the information, that's why, because we get into that fight or flight zone and our rational brain checks out. Mm -hmm. So emotional intelligence allows us to be aware of our triggers and the emotions that we have and learn how to regulate them so that we can think clearly, we can better problem solve, collaborate, and reduce that stress that comes with our modern day uh, stress triggers. Yeah. So that we can respond and not react. Exactly. Yeah. Get back to the present moment living, let your prefrontal cortex take over and make rational decisions. So what are some ways that we can apply this, Brittany Nicole, this emotional intelligence in our lives starting today when it comes to helping alleviate stress or anxiety? Yeah. So with the four minutes we have today or the short time we have today, it's hard to go in depth, but there's some key components to getting ourselves out of that activated stress state. And one of those things is steady, long and deep breaths. And this calms down that sympathetic nervous system so we can get out of that triggered state. Mm -hmm. So let's say that we're in conversation with another person and things get a little heated. Mm -hmm. We're not always going to think about these tips and strategies. They're great in theory, but it's not always easy for them, for us to put them in practice. Mm -hmm. So another tip that I like to tell people is that Behind every unpleasant emotion like anger or rage, there is an unmet need. Anytime we feel that emotion, there is something behind that. So keeping that in the front of your mind, that'll help you better communicate your needs to others because you can identify what you're feeling and what is the need behind that. And let me communicate that Mm -hmm. instead of projecting my anger. And it allows us to be more empathetic to Mm -hmm. other people because we don't take that as a personal attack when we have that um, conflict. Mm-hmm. It's so true. I just did a podcast about this, but I was talking about that, how your emotions and particularly anger can really inform you of something that you need instead of, but you have to take a moment to feel it and recognize it. And you need some of these skills and tools to be able to get there. Good stuff. I'm all about this emotional intelligence. I think it's so critically important for us to live our fullest lives. Uh, For more information from Brittany Nicole, check out her website. It's the catalyst for change.com. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you, Colleen.